Being a nice guy gets you nowhere. Stop being walked over and start getting the respect that you deserve. If you have ever felt like you're too nice, like people overlook you or even outrightly take advantage of you, then this video is for you. By the end of it, you would have learned what you need to be. Let's be realistic, you have probably heard that saying, nice guys finish last. But what does that actually mean? See, society tells men to be polite, agreeable, even self-sacrificing. But when taken to the extreme, being a nice guy can backfire. Women, friends, even colleagues can see you as unassertive, too predictable, or even a pushover. You hear things like that one, I beg, forget that guy, it's so you no get level, you no get mind every time with the shake, shake, I beg, I beg, forget that guy, Jerry. Because you're too nice. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not about abandoning respect or even kindness. It's about understanding that there is a difference between being genuinely kind and being nice to the extent that it compromises who you are. The problem with this nice guy habit is that once you're overtaken by this, it makes you eager to please people. Sometimes even at the detriment of your own well-being, you lack the ability to say no because you're constantly seeking approval, validation from people. Make you know, be like, say they don't like me. I know I don't like conflict. I beg. I know they talk just because, say, if I to talk now, they will say, see the one when I talk. You know, things like that. I remember one time growing up, I stumbled on a guy who was insulting my mom. Like it was a terrible experience. This guy was actually calling out my mom. And then I reacted. I was like, who the hell do you think you are? Why would you speak about my mom in that manner? What, what, what? Before you know what's going on, you know, everybody came out. Hey, what's going happen? What's going happen? What's going happen? Long story short. <laughs> when they judge this matter, they can say me, no matter what, not supposed to disrespect that brother because last, last, he had grown up. Look at me trying to fight for my mom and what did I get? People were telling me that no matter what, this guy is older than me, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? But do you know what that did to me? It kind of made me call back into myself. Because every time I'm faced with a situation where I have to stand up for myself for that period of time, I always remember the fact that hey, maybe later now they will not blame me. If I speak up for myself, they will blame me. And it made me not stood up for myself when I needed to. But that's in the past now. And I believe that a lot of people have experiences in life that has made them just called back into being this nice person, nice guy. You can be like, yeah, bad, I don't want trouble, please, I don't want conflict. Even when someone is outrightly disrespecting you, you lack the ability to just shut the person down. You keep condoning rubbish. All in the name of, I know once, me then call me out. The truth is, this nice guy pattern is built on wanting external validation, wanting approval from people, constantly seeking approval of others. That is why some people can't even stand up for themselves or even say no when they need to. For example, maybe you're in a work environment and somebody is making jokes about you or your body or your persona and then you condone it because you don't want any kind of conflict. That, in the end, is going to make you lose respect because the typical nice guy think that hey, if I do all of these things, I will be liked by people. But unfortunately, it's not a guarantee that these people are still going to like you. They will just look at you as too predictable. Who is this guy? He has no depth. I'm telling you facts. So now, what is the solution? Who do you need to be instead? Now we've established that this thing bad, like being too nice, you're not too good. But what can you do? Nice guys don't often trust their own worth, so they try to earn it by being overly nice. But confidence doesn't come from pleasing others, it comes from recognizing your own value. Start by setting small boundaries, by saying no to the things you don't want to do. Every time you do this, you reinforce your sense of self-worth. Assertiveness is a key. It means that you're willing to express your thoughts, your emotions without fear. This is not about being rude. It's about being clear in your communication. The next time somebody asks you to do something that you're not comfortable with, try saying something like, oh, I would rather not to. And notice how this simple shift makes you gain respect without over explaining and apologizing. No can go there apologize on top say you know two person anything. You hear things like, oh, I'm so sorry. I would have loved to. What are you sorry about? You don't need to explain anything. No, the reason say maybe if you if you explain, explain, the person will understand. It can make and still like you see. Love for you comes from the inside. People treat you the way you treat yourself. If you love yourself so much and you respect yourself so much, naturally people are going to follow suit. It doesn't matter who the person is, even woman with your life gone safe. When you see the way you package yourself, the reason your own matter, you by yourself, they love yourself. She said, no get choice, and to love you. 
people around you and your friends and you know family is no get choice than to love you the way you love yourself our people say the name where you call yourself nine people will call you the name where you call your dog nine people will call your dog it's as simple as that people mirror your character People mirror you. That is why when you don't have confidence, the moment you get into a room and you start speaking, everybody can know that this guy no get confidence. Because you're fidgeting and you know people can sense all of these things. You carry that energy. Every single human being on earth has energy. It depends on what it is. Sometimes it's confidence, sometimes it's arrogance, sometimes it can be anything. So when you're not confident in yourself and you're seeking external validation, people can see it. And the bad thing about it is that some people can take advantage of you. Yes, narcissists can take advantage of you because they know that this guy somehow is broken somehow. You've not been able to fix a trauma that you have because most times being overly nice is something that comes from trauma. I you know even remember, see, it don't happen to you before. Maybe I just share my experience now, how I take go fight. Last, last fight, can't turn from my head. It can't make me come the blessed that they fear people. But not anymore, thanks to God. <laughs> Valuing yourself, like I said, is loving yourself unconditionally. Be kind to yourself. You see those sweet words where you always they use to they encourage people? Tell them to yourself. Like in the famous words of Lisa Nicole, save others from your saucer. It means that your cup is already filled up, overflowing to the saucer. Now you're serving people from the saucer. Because if you serve people from your cup, then the cup becomes empty. Then you become empty. I don't believe in a love or in a relationship where you sacrifice so much that the person is beginning to just die. That is not love. That is toxic love. You should be able to love another person, sacrifice for another person, and still be whole as a person, and still be complete and happy as a person. So value yourself. That thing may be the person tell you to make you do it. You know, say if you do this thing, you know, go benefit you. Or maybe it will be at the detriment of your health, of your well-being, of the well-being of your family. Dump it. You don't have to. You don't need to do it. And trust me, when you develop this trait, you attract quality people to your life. Kindness is not an obligation. It's a choice. Do things because you want to. Not because you have to. Now, if you're wondering if this has a way of affecting your relationship, absolutely it can. Because women and even people in general just respect someone who is genuinely kind. Because he wants to be, not because he has to be. And not because he's seeking for some type of approval. When you're confident, assertive, and self-assured, people can sense it. The moment you walk into a room, you're going to project that. You're going to either project your confidence, assertiveness, or you would project your overly seeking approval habit. So if you're tired of feeling like the overlooked nice guy, start by being confident, building your confidence, being assertive. Practice setting boundaries and valuing yourself. Serve others from the overflow of your saucer, not from the cup. Because if you diminish what's in the cup, it's going to affect your well-being. Always remember that. Have enough and a little bit of leftover to give to others. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more insights on relationship, personal growth and how to become the best version of yourself. And if you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, which I know you do, check out this one on the screen and I'll see you there.